Here we have the Chrysler stock manifold that was on our 360. And here we have a Edelbrock RPM air gap. So I wanna talk about why I chose to upgrade or change, and then also the uh, actual weight and height differences between them. So starting out, why did I make the change? Um, I was gonna have to go through, blast this, repaint it, you know, make some plates for covering up the EGR. And then also every time that I had to move it, ugh, it is so stinking heavy. So that's why I made the change, um, was predominantly weight and to reduce my workload right now. Let's talk about weight. So I just did the weight checks on these. The old one here comes out at 50.2 pounds and the new aluminum one is right at 18 pounds. So 32.2 pounds of weight savings with tax this was $412 so you get a $12.80 per pound cost for that reduction now I also watched some uh, some videos and stuff where they were talking about the height difference on these and I know I saw one thing that was saying that it's it's deceiving because this one sits down deeper into the engine so you can see here where you know, this one does go down into the engine, but there's also still a difference. So if, if we're lining them up on the, uh, on the top of the manifold and we measure this distance, because we know this all has to fit up at the same exact position, there is a difference aside from what's going into the engine. And I'm measuring uh, right at 20 millimeters, you're gonna see a height difference of a little bit over three quarters of an inch after putting this one in. So depending on the rest of the stack up, car, air cleaner, etc., that may cause an issue, maybe not. I'm willing to roll the dice on it. I'll find out uh, if I do have a clearance. Looks like I'm getting a hood scoop. That is it. Um, we'll see y'all next week.